question here is tan theta is equal to 39 divided by 80 and we have to find the remaining trigonometric functions using this data. They have given tan theta to be a positive value that is 39 by 80. Tan theta is positive. Tan theta is positive either in first quadrant or third quadrant because let us consider the Cartesian coordinate system here. This will be our four quadrants. So this will be our positive x-axis. This will be our positive y-axis. This will be our negative x-axis. This will be our negative y-axis. Definition of tan theta in terms of x, y and r is y divided by x. This is our first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. First quadrant has positive y-axis and positive x x axis so therefore its coordinates y and x will be positive and here when it comes to second quadrant we are having negative x axis and positive y axis so we will have will have positive y coordinate divided by negative x coordinate so we will get a negative value for tan theta and then when it comes to the third quadrant we are having negative y axis and negative x axis so for tan theta we will have negative y coordinate divided by negative x coordinate negative signs cancel out each other so we will be left off with y divided by x which is a positive value in the third quadrant tan theta is positive and similarly in the first quadrant when it comes to fourth quadrant fourth quadrant is having negative y-axis and positive y-axis. When we look into the definition of tan theta, tan theta is y by x. For the value of y, we will have negative y coordinate divided by positive x coordinate. We will get a negative value. Now, we know that tan theta is either in first quadrant or third quadrant. In order to find out the remaining trigonometric functions, we need to know the value of x, y and r. So, in the question, they have given the value of tan tan theta to be equal to as 39 by 80. So this is our y value and this is our x value. But we don't know the value of r. So when we look into the right angle triangle, this will be our right angle and this will be our angle theta. The side which is opposite to the right angle of the triangle is the hypotenuse side that is r. And next the side which is opposite to the angle theta is called the opposite side that is y which is what and the side which is adjacent to the angle theta is the adjacent side that is x which is the horizontal side. In order to find out r we can use the Pythagorean theorem that states that for all r square is equal to x square plus y square. So in order to find out r we can take the square root of the right hand side of the equation that is r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So here we know the value of x and y. So the value of x is 80 and the value Value of y is 39. We will get the value of r that is r is equal to x square that is 80 square. Square root of 80 square plus y square that is 39 square. 39 square. We have to take the square root of the entire RHS. 80 square is always 64,000. The value of 39 square is 1521. 6400 plus 1521 is equal to 7921. So square root of 7000 921 is 80 9. Here the value of r will be always positive because it is the length of this hypotenuse which is r. But whereas when we come into x and y values, x or y can be positive or negative depending on which quadrant the angle theta lies. r will be always positive. So we have the value of r to be equal to as 89. So here we can write it down r to be equal to as 89. Previously we have found out that tan theta is either in first quadrant or third quadrant. So in the first quadrant, first quadrant has positive x-axis and positive y-axis. So therefore, the value of x coordinate and y coordinate will be positive. These values are for the first quadrant. When it comes to third quadrant, third quadrant is having negative x-axis and negative y-axis. So the value of x coordinate and y coordinate, both of them will be negative. That is, x coordinate will be equal to minus 
is 80 because third quadrant is having negative x axis. The value of y coordinate will be negative 39 because it is having negative y coordinate. Next, the value of r will be always positive that is 89. So, these are the values of x, y and r for the third quadrant. So, now we have to find out the remaining trigonometric functions for both first quadrant and third quadrant by using these values. First, let us concentrate on the first quadrant. So, first quadrant has the values x is equal to 80, y is equal to 39 and r is equal to 89. Side by side, I'll be rating for the third quadrant. So, third quadrant has the value of x to be equal to as minus 80, y coordinate to be equal to as minus 39 and the value of r to be equal to as 89. Now, we will find out the trigonometric functions of each quadrant one by one. First one will be sine theta. For all, the sine theta's definition is y divided by r. So, the value of y here is 39 and the value of r here is 81. We will get 39 divided by 89. Next trigonometric function is cos theta whose definition is x divided by r. The value of x here is 80 and the value of r here is 89. We will get 80 divided by 89. Next trigonometric function is tan theta whose definition is y divided by x. It is the ratio of sine theta divided by cos theta. We will get the value of y to be equal to as 39 and the value of x to be equal to as 80. So, we will get 39 divided by 80. Next will be cosecant theta whose definition is r divided by y which is the reciprocal of sine theta. As you can see here, sine theta has the ratio y divided by r and cosecant theta has the ratio r divided by y cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. We can simply write the reciprocal of this number 89 divided by 39. Secant theta's definition is r divided by x. So, secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. Cos theta has a ratio x by r. Secant theta is having the ratio r by x and its value will be the reciprocal of this number here that is 9 divided by 80. The last one will be cot theta whose definition is x divided by y which is the reciprocal of tan theta. So, tan theta has a ratio y by x and cot theta has a ratio x by y. The value will be the reciprocal of this fraction that is 80 divided by 39. Similarly, for the second quadrant, the value of x, y and r will be these values that is x will be minus 80 and y will be minus 39 and r will be 89. You can pause the video and find it out by yourself and come back and check the answer. First one will be sine theta which has the ratio y by r. The value of y is minus 39. The value of r is 89. So, we will get minus 39 divided by 89. Next one is cos theta whose ratio is x divided by r. The value of x is minus 80 and the value of r is 89. We will get minus 80 by 89. This will be equal to negative of the entire fraction that is 80 by 89. Similarly, for sine theta, negative of the entire fraction that is negative of 39 by 89. Third trigonometric function is tan theta which has a ratio y divided by x. The value of y here is minus 39 and the value of x here is minus 80. We will get minus 39 divided by minus 80. Negative sign and negative sign will cancel out each other so we are left with positive 39 by 80. Fourth one is cosecant theta which is the reciprocal of sine theta. Cosecant theta's ratio is r by y which is the reciprocal of y by r. We can simply write the reciprocal of this value here. It will be negative sign will remain the same. Only the fraction will have the reciprocal value that is 89 by 39. The trigonometric function is sec theta which has the ratio r by x. r by x is the reciprocal of x by r that is cos theta. So, its value will be the reciprocal of the value of cos theta. Negative sign will remain same 89 by 80. Our last trigonometric function is cot theta whose ratio is x by y which is the reciprocal of tan theta that is y by x. Its value will be the reciprocal of the value of tan theta 80 by 39. So this is the solution for the given question. If you understood the concept subscribe to the channel like the video and share the video.